So we are back in the shop and funny story. I put out the picture of the Vienna horn that I just finished assembled and Literally later that day, I was so happy with it and everyone was like, oh, it looks so cool. And then I fucking fell on top of it. The guts are all good. They're over on the lathe, but the bell is just toast. I am making bells again. The first branch might have to be rebent or remade. That's not a huge deal. The valves are fine. I got some brass in from my favorite industrial supplier, Crackmaster car. Yeah, I have a catalog. I'm about to cut up some patterns. I got enough for, I think, six patterns here. And there's my pattern. I just use Sharpie to draw them up because ain't nobody got time for trying to find a scribe line. Ooh, bird's eye view. Yeah, they don't really tell you how to use these things. I wish John were here. Okay, well, whatever. I'm gonna Sharpie lines and then I'm gonna cut them out with shears. So I drew the first one out. You can see if the light isn't just fucking it up. This is the old pattern and you can see on it I have new lines drawn on here. So and I also have a line down here cutting it a little shorter and I'm making the flare a little less sharp. And that actually is so nice. Before I could only fit three patterns a sheet. These sheets are 24 by 96. But now I can fit four, which means this is a fucking huge deal because these have to come freight. So now I can buy the 24 by 48s and, on, and get the same amount of patterns that I do on the big sheets. Oh my God, this is like best day ever. Holy shit, I, this is like a big deal. Oh my God, my heart's beating so fast. That might be the candy. Okay, bye. Max. Hey, I got all the patterns just broken up out of the big sheets. Like I cannot convey and everyone I've told like I've texted a few people and all excited about this that I can get four patterns out of a sheet now. And they're all just like, uh what, what is that matter? Ooh, I'm John. So I buy all my uh sheet from McMaster Car. Not because I'm, you know, McMaster Car influencer, which I am, but um don't tell them. It's because they have the cheapest pricing on brass sheet on the internet. And I don't say that as an understatement or an overstatement. It is a pure middle statement. I looked forever and ever trying to find cheap brass sheet and I've looked, you know, online metals is just terrible and they don't have wide sheets. But MasterCard, they have 24 inch wide sheets. That's perfect. They have 020, 016, 025, 032, all the kind of standard sizes. It's about all you can get anywhere else too. Um, and they got a lot of good bronze too. They have Foss bronze and commercial bronze and copper. But it's, it's the cheapest. Some, if someone could find me cheaper 24 by 48 sheets of yellow brass, I will happily eat crow on this one. But the last couple months I've emailed a couple big mills or you know, mills because they don't actually make the brass brass anymore. It's all from China. And saying, yeah, I want a coil of 016 and 020 and none of them responded to me. And it's not like I'm trying to buy like a sheet. I'm trying to buy, you know, hundreds of pounds. That's okay. McMaster car. Can never get enough of Crack Master. Just look how it glows. Because before the big sheets, they're 24 by 96. They're only stocked in the Cleveland warehouse and I'm in Chicago and there's a warehouse here, which is pretty close that I usually pick up stuff from, but they have to be shipped via freight which is a huge pain in the dick because I'm in a residential address and I just hate dealing with freight truck. Like the guy's really nice. Every time he gets all excited when I show him like a piece of brass that's been made into almost a bell, he gets all excited, it's funny. But if I can just buy 24 by 48 sheets and go pick them up or get them delivered same day because you know, I'm a McMaster car influencer, then I will much happily do that. And also there's not a lot of space around here. So like wielding these giant sheets around how ugly do I look, Colin? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, Miles. Let's cut some shit. I got my handy dandy shears. These are Malco, M-A-L-C-O, Max 2000. They're the nicest ones I've used. These, I need to get these sharpened or replaced just because they're, they've cut a lot of patterns. All I'm gonna do is cut on the inside of my Sharpie line. And I do have electric shears, but I don't like them because they're from Harbor Freight and they're very heavy. Depending on what manual I'm spinning these onto, I'll cut on the inside or the outside of the line. That's why I like the shot. Because it gives you a good amount of change if you cut on the inside or the outside. So since these are going on the Vienna horn manual, which is a little larger, when I get right about here into the throat, I'm going to start cutting on the outside of the line because I know that that's where it's tight to the mandrel a lot. And uh, when you're cutting patterns, John still doesn't understand this and he hates cutting patterns, which is funny. There's different directions that are easy to cut and hard to cut. Boom. If anyone wants like 016 and I have a little bit of 020 cutoffs like that, call me. Oh yeah, 
Look at that. It's all it takes right there. Doesn't that sound good, Colin? You can hear it, you know? So cool. I think that's going to be a really nice bell. Ah. I just cut myself, fuckers. Yeah, so like going this direction down the flare is easy. Going the other way up this flare, this side of the belt, is very hard. And it's funny that every time I had John cut bell patterns, which he hates for some reason, he always goes the exact wrong direction. It's funny. So, the reason I don't just make a new pattern that isn't tight in that area is because this pattern is perfect on, one, on the middle mandrel. The old uh, number two bell, it's the smaller bell, it's perfect. On that, and I love that bell. So it's actually not that close to any of the Sandler bells. Um, like the uh, the 88 is different from it. It's more like the 84, but it's still different. I just cut myself again. Trumpet bell right there. Someone buy it for me. Five dollars. Jesus Christ! I've never cut myself so many times while putting patterns out. I just I got like Johnitis or something. Boom! Okay, I think that's enough of that. I'm gonna cut out the rest of these off camera. Fuck! Cool. Thanks to the beautiful fact that I can fit four patterns per sheet, we have eight bells that I gotta do now, but I'm only doing four to start. So I'm gonna do just a few of them just to make sure that this new pattern is perfect. Because I know this new pattern will work before I go and cut up all eight bells, I want to make sure that they're not going to be all a pain in the ass to do, just in case if I have to open up the pattern a little more in this area still, I'd rather do that on the pattern than shoving a ball through it, which it works, but I want to get to the point where I don't have to do that. And another thing that I realized yesterday is I have to tweak the pattern a little bit on the next ones, so these I will be folding just by hand, but I have a press break. Is it a press break? This is just a break, I think. Google it. I don't care. This has like a 37 inch kind of throat size. The old pattern was just way too long to fit and this pattern is shorter and I think I have to shave like a quarter inch off the length but it's gonna fit I'm not gonna worry about that right now because I still have to pick put a little bumper under here so that it has a nicer radius when everything comes into you know everything kind of falls into a row then it makes me really happy and on the ground here I got these are my these are two patterns I cut up yesterday and this one is a pattern that cancel had made it's a super weird pattern and it's a huge pain in the ass to use so the sharper that these little ears come out the more hammering you have to do to break the back of the pattern. Don't come at me saying, oh, well, the more hammering you have to do, the better the bell will sound. I'm like, no, this is the different type of hammering that's just a pain in the dick. But these patterns, they'll open up to look like this. And I have struggled a lot in the past with breaking the back because the patterns I was using were so sharp. But this pattern broke in like a round and a half. And breaking the back is just taking the lopsided ears, both of them go that way, and making it a cone like this. I'm pretty sure that this will open up big enough. I'm like 80% sure, not 100. The diameter at the circle right now is nine inches and these bells only need to be 11 and a quarter. So I'm pretty confident, pretty sick. If I'm doing like a 12 inch like double horn flare or something, I might need to just extend these guys out and make it a little more and that's super easy. I'm actually kind of worried that this isn't gonna make a big enough diameter now. I'll think about it.